Thanks for dropping by during my office hours. In this video, let's delve into the concept of a water budget, an invaluable tool for estimating the available water stored in a system, be it a watershed or aquifer. Water availability is an important concern in the 21st century. Before embarking on the development of a water supply and distribution system for a new project, it is crucial to address some fundamental questions. What is the current availability of water? How will the planned water withdrawal impact future storage within the system? And, importantly, how can we formulate sustainable strategies for water usage across various purposes? Achieving sustainable water supplies necessitates a comprehensive grasp of the hydrologic cycle, comprehending how water traverses Earth's atmosphere, land surface, and subsurface. Water budgets serve as essential tools employed by water users and managers to quantify the hydrologic cycle. Essentially, a water budget acts as an account, meticulously documenting the rates of water movement and the fluctuations in water storage across the entirety or specific segments of the atmosphere, land surface, and subsurface. The concept of water budget is simple, as it is very similar to financial budget. If we have a bank account, by knowing the balance in this account, we will know how much money is available for use currently. If we want to know the balance in this account in one month, we will need to record all the different sources of incomes that will be deposited into this account, and we will need to record the various expenses that will require us withdrawing money from this account. Using the total deposit minus the total withdrawal amount, we will find the change during this time. If the change is positive, we will have more money for the balance. If the change is negative, we will have less for the balance. If the change is zero, then the balance will remain the same. This is a financial budget that we are dealing with in our daily lives. Likewise, a water budget is a tool for us to keep track of the balance of water in a storage system, be it a watershed or aquifer. The first step is to create our bank account, in engineering language, that is to define the control volume. Control volume is the total amount of water in a specific storage system. For example, it can be the total amount of water in a specific watershed. Our second step is to identify all the incomes and expenses for this bank account. The flows of water running into the control volume are called inflows, while the flows of water leaving the control volume are called outflows. Our task in this step is to identify each of the inflows and outflows with their time rate change values. For a watershed, typical inflows can be precipitation, surface runoff and groundwater recharge. Typical outflows can be evaporation, evapotranspiration, surface runoff, groundwater discharge, and probably human consumption. To find the change of balance in this account, we will need to use our total incomes to minus total expenses. In the water budget, we will sum up all the inflows, and sum up all the outflows. Then we will use the total inflows to minus the total outflows. The result is called the change in storage. If the change in storage gives a positive value, then the storage of water has increased in this control volume. If the change in storage gives a negative value, then the storage of water has decreased in this control volume. If the change in storage equals to zero, then the total amount of water in this control volume has neither increased nor decreased. Notably, the change in storage is often reported as a time rate change, and this time interval can be of any length, be it a day, a month, or a year. The equation, in this case, will have dimensions of volume over time. To use water in a sustainable manner, it is advised to plan for a balanced water usage that won't hurt water storage in the long run. This requires us to use water budget as the critical tool for analyzing the change in storage over time. Now you know what water budget is and how to use it for water planning. Thank you for tuning into this video. If you have any questions or specific civil engineering topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. Your likes and subscriptions motivate me to create more content, ensuring you don't miss out on future updates.